Hi guys, today in this video we're going to have a quick look at the new improved phone features in Grid 3. You will need a device running Grid 3 and a phone with Bluetooth, either Android or iOS. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is to actually pair up our phone with the device. So on the grid pad, if I go to menu and then settings, and then choose the phone option from the left hand side. And then on my phone, I need to turn my phone on, uh, make sure Bluetooth is turned on. I'm preparing on my phone, I've got an Android phone. I need to go to the Bluetooth settings and make sure the Bluetooth screen is on the screen to make sure my phone is discoverable. And now I can see my phone in the list on here. I select my phone and then, oops, choose connect. Mm. And now I've got some notifications on my phone letting me know that a device has asked to, re uh, to pair with me. I choose pair. Mm -hmm. And I now know my phone is connected. And I should get some notifications on my phone to let me know that the grid pad is requesting permissions to access my messages and calls. There we go. So message access request, I need to accept that. And now we can see on the screen that my phone should be compatible with everything that grid's able to do, calls and messages. Okay, so we are using the Fast Talker grid set. I'm just going to show you a quick example of making a call. Uh, so I'm going to call my good friend James. I choose to dial and then click go. And we can see on my phone that it's now ringing. And on James's phone, here he is. So I answer the call. Now, the exciting new feature is that you can use your grid voice. Uh, to come through to the other person. So, uh, what are you here for? Okay, so that about covers it for today. Uh, remember, you can join us in our Facebook community if you've got any questions, or drop us a line to the support team, or you can find more information in a guide that we have on our website.